I, hopefully you managed to listen to the, 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 the piece about Moni I did before about how I started doing the, the water lily painting. And uh, I mentioned Giverny, and I've also mentioned in another talk where unless I've been somewhere, I can't really paint the, 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 paint the picture. So I have to fess up a little bit. You know, I hadn't been to Giverny, uh, although I wanted to go, but I did the next thing. I bought my own pond with water lilies, which I can see out the, the window there. So that I'll, I'll still stand by my original, original take. Although I don't have a bucket list as such, going to Giverny was something I'd always thought that would be nice to do. And just uh, last year, 2022, I think, I had the chance, my wife and I went on a, a river cruise, and it was a, a wonderful experience uh, to, st to stand on the Japanese bridge that Moni painted so often and look at the, uh, the, the the lilies were just coming out. It was early in the day and they weren't fully out, but you got an idea. And then the, the house as well was, was fantastic. I, I got a lot out of it, but I hadn't... You're never sure if it's going to make a difference to your painting. I mean, I painted dozens and dozens of water lily paintings. Was being in Germany going to make make a difference? <coughs> I think I came back and oh, oh, I had a, an idea. We'd try a water lily painting, and this was the first one I did on my return from Giverny. And I think, I, I, if I say so myself, I think that the, uh, there was a big, you know, uh, development in, in the work having been there and immersed in it. So it proved, I think, I'm right. You do have to be there, and it's also, I mean, it's it's not completely Giverny. There is the, the the pond, big pond near where they live. This idea of this, where the sun shines through it and through the reeds, the and the reflections, are things which I have seen before. But but I don't know whether it gave it more authenticity or something. But it gave me more, maybe slightly more into the work. I try to make sure my work doesn't get overdone or overworked because I think it takes away something, uh, the, the freshness from it. But so these were these were quite tricky to do the, uh, and you know to do them not in a not painting them in a kind of uh, you know, small brushes, uh, n n sort of like knitting them together, but doing them loose, loose that word again, loose, trying to keep everything loose and fresh. So I came up with a, the, this idea. It's still very liquid paint, but I've never had a, a, a water with just so much yellow. Usually this is the, this is the colour palette for the, the lilies. But I hope you get the idea there of shadow, sunlight, Reflection. I think you know that that's these are the things I was really after, uh, and it's a it's a dense painting. I think again, as I said, you can look uh, at inch by inch and have something to see. Even even in the the passages there, there's dribbly paint and you no know, things underneath which come through, which are all all leave, leave to the and and the unexplained. Really, that this would be you'd have to say, well, why is that there? Because I want it to be there, basically. Uh, I don't think I paint much better than that. That's you know, if you want something better, they might be better going somewhere else because that's about as good as as I can do. I think something I'm very pleased with. Not that the other ones weren't any good, but there's there's just something about the uh, about the I felt maybe closer to Moni. Maybe it was just because I'm getting older as well. He was an old man when he painted painted these pictures. But there is a a companion piece. This is obviously a summer painting. And there's a winter painting. Uh, I'm really thrilled that, that, that they're getting hung together in a big show and people get a chance to see them. <coughs> uh, and maybe get an understanding of what, uh, what my work's trying to be about.